College. I am from an organization called Boundless Brilliance. Today I will be demonstrating the soap powered boat experiment. And if you need to, pause the video, rewind, take your time. Science takes time. Let's get started. For today's experiment, you will need a container full of water, scissors, a piece of cardboard. I obtained mine from a cereal box, but you can also use a foam tray from meat packaging, toothpicks, and liquid dish soap. Cut the cardboard or foam tray into a boat shape about two inches long. Obtain your container full of water and place your boat into the water. Then dip the toothpick into the liquid soap and use it to put the soap on the back of the boat where the notches are. You will then see your boat float across the water. Water has this thing called surface tension. And when we have that surface tension, all those water molecules are holding on to each other really tightly. But what liquid dish soap does is it breaks that surface tension. The water molecules pull away where the surface tension is broken. And when they pull away, they push the boat across the water. Don't forget to try this experiment with different types of soap. For example, a bar of soap versus liquid soap. You can also try with different amounts of soap or different temperature of water as well. Have fun! Thank you so much for watching. I'll